Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we are starting the Club World Cup with the first match against Kato Regen, I believe it is. It's one of the made up clubs, I believe. Going in with quite a few changes. We've brought a Neuer in goal. We've got a back four of Lovato, Kosanu with Trippier and Zirkov on the wing back roles. Mariba, Pedri and Vieira come back in midfield. And we're going to start a front three of Castro, Martinelli and Joaquin for a change on the right. So this is the first match, hopefully, of two. If we win this match, we get through to the final. And we'll play whoever wins the other semi-final. My thoughts for starting Joaquin is he's on and up. And Diaby needed a rest. My other option was probably playing Kang and Lee over on that right-hand side, which he's played there before. But I thought Joaquin's on and up, might as well play him. Kang and Lee can come on. Later on, maybe in place of Vieira or Pedri in that uh, central attack midfield role, which he's more comfortable with. Plus, the final, which is likely to be a, a tougher match, that's only in, I think, two or three days if we get through this one. And the last match we played, if you, just in case you missed the last video, it was a really tough one. Won one nil in the end, but it was a struggle. Dominated the game possession wise. It was just, you know, that they had 11 men behind the ball pretty much most of the game, and it was a real struggle to break them down. We did in the end, and um, we're getting that second just was a, a bit elusive. But it's another three points, and we are playing Real Madrid shortly, who are behind us by four points in the league. Ooh. Oh, what a strike! And Joaquin, the youngster, the regen. The choice to start him has paid off already. It's a nice ball in, but that touch and the left footed curl round the keeper. Some talent, this uh, the young regen. Lovely first couple of touches. Great finish. Now I've got to admit, even though I did choose to start him and he's on and up, I didn't expect him to be the uh, the first goal scorer. Not at all. But I've said it before, the condition really does play a lot and you've got to use it when you're picking your team. Don't always just pick who you think are your best 11. Look at that condition. It can make such a difference. Is Martinelli now oh, straight at the keeper? That's poor from him, to be honest. It's got to be a foul, isn't it? Vieira wins it back. Oh, good block there. But for example, say you've got, I don't know, two players. One's on a, a level condition and one's on a slight up. If, if the one that's got slightly worse condition is like, you know, a superstar, play them, fair enough. But if someone's on a on a full-up, um, it's worth giving them a start if you can. Even if they're not one of your best players. Joaquin. He's got uh, the goal in his sights now, hasn't he, after that first one. Nice title from Navarro, who's in place of Cavardiol today. Give him a bit of a rest. Now Vieira. Joaquin again. Oh, it's a, oh, nearly a nice ball through to Martinelli. But you can see see the way Joaquin's moving. Just his initial burst. His first touches. They're just so much crisper than um, they normally would be. I'd love to know. I don't know how much they actually improve your stats when you're on an up compared to a normal condition. I'm sure those uh, figures will be out there. And Zirkov playing left back today. Nice play from him. Now Martinelli. Just my just to keep it. Now Zirkov deflects. Castro gets absolutely taken out. I think he just kind of ran into the player though. They're playing with fire here. Yeah, they've done the right thing in the end and actually it's worked out well for them. Well, 
say that the header was poor. Nice play from Vieira. He had a player sharp on him. Oh, Martinelli now. Oh, Joaquin. And again, he's been involved quite a lot already. He's obviously got that goal, but he's uh, had quite a few touches of the ball. Pedri. Martinelli, that's a poor pass back. A little bit sloppy there from a couple of players. They're playing dangerous and may have worked there, but they will pay for that in the future if they keep trying that. Guarantee it. Nice play from Pedri. Even Castro. Now Pedri. Zirkov. Nice ball back. Ooh. The spectacular effort. Just missed the ball. Bit of an air kick there. Start from Fabio Vieira there. Doing his defensive duties. Castro tackled. Oh, really nice ball through to Pedri. And a simple finish from him. All about that pass there. A nice ball forward. Is it Castro? I think, yeah, it was Castro playing the ball. Really nice pass. Pedri could have played it across to Martinelli or Joaquin, or, but that was the right decision. Just calmly, you know, take your time, take a couple of touches, and just curl around the keeper. And that's more like it. 2 0 just before half time. They've certainly been. By far the better of the teams. Nice tackle. Can we get another before half time? Here's Pedri. Pedri. Oh, how's he missed? Here's Joaquin. Now Vieira. Pedri. Sirkov. Vieira. And what's that? Oh, he was offside. Well, that should be just half time now. But two and a half time, that's a pretty decent, solid foundation for the second half. And we had all the shots at goal. Uh, the opposition hasn't had one shot even off target, I mean on target. Well, there's a shot power. I don't know how we actually got that shot away. We had a defender right there. That's poor. And we had 62% possession as well in that first half. That's poor. Good tackle there though. Save Bellingham. Oh, it's a really nice ball to Martinelli. Castro, 3-0. A nice flow and move there. And Castro gets on the score sheet. It's really nice work from Pedri. A nice ball down the line. And Martinelli unselfishly plays it in. Nice finish. Fox in the box.
And that's pretty much the game safe now. Not that obviously we void it 2-0, but 3-0 just makes that a little bit more safer. Oh, now we can relax and maybe try and get a few goals. And obviously make some substitutions fairly soon. Here's Joaquin again. Pedri, how doesn't that go in? <laughs> I don't know how the defender got there. That's one of my other criticisms for the game, apart from the fouls and the referee, is the the amount of times that shots get blocked. Um, oh, lovely header. Great corner. And Pedri, not probably the first person you picked to score from a header. It's been a while since we've scored directly from a corner. Just gets above it. We'll wait a few more minutes and then the next time the ball goes out we'll make some substitutions. Because we do have a game very quickly after this one. I think that, I'm assuming it's three days. Sirkov hasn't been involved too much. Now there's a uh, Mariba. I'm sure I said Bellingham earlier. Bellingham's not playing against Mariba. So apologies for all that. Nice interception from Pedri there. Oh, Joaquin again. And it's two. What a game for this youngster, the regen, Joaquin. Two excellent goals. Obviously, the first was an absolute cracker, but a nice flow move here. I was seriously going to send him out on loan in January, or at least I was considering that with Messi due back. I still think that's the option to go, because he is, you know, a lot of his stats are need improving. And with Messi coming back from his loan, don't think Joaquin will be getting much game time. And Debushi at right back where Joaquin has played sometimes. So we are going to take off Joaquin after scoring that second goal. Cousins is coming on for him. Kangin Lee is coming on for Fabio Vieira. And Ruben Castro is going to go off for Xerxes replacing him. Obviously Ruben Castro and Vieira have been excellent. But Joaquin I'm sure will get a special round of applause there. had a great game and he started all off with that brilliant goal and that really set the uh, the tone for the game that first goal is always the most crucial and I know that's one of those sayings that commentators <laughs> often chuck out there like it's not obvious um, oh, decent ball from Zirkov just a tiny bit high But it is true, though. That's the thing. And it was such a brilliant goal. And we've seen sometimes if you don't get the early goal, it can be a little bit of a struggle. And the opposition, if they put men behind the ball. Now, this team's, I wouldn't say they've been adventurous. Um, but they haven't been putting everyone behind the ball like in our last match. Kang Lee playing on the, uh, the right-hand side. He's done a few times. Oh, Cousin Snelli getting Martinelli through. Nice header. And nearly a nice ball from Marie, but Kangalee's run just stopped. Oh, a lovely ball from Trippier. Rake and ball. Now Zirkov. Zirkzy. Wonderful header. It's all about the pass there though from Zirkov. Wing backs off a great support. Now Zirkov hasn't been involved too much in this game. Maybe a little bit more in the second half. A couple of decent balls. This one's hit its target. Zirkzy with a simple header. I'm not going to miss that one.
I really do enjoy scorn headers because I, I do find them very hard on PES 2021. They often just go flying over. So it's quite rare that we score from crosses or corners. And we've done that twice in this game. That's a poor ball, but Xerxes might get there. And, well, he did get there. And Reaper's got it now. Oh, it's a poor ball to Martinelli. 6-0 though. Couldn't really ask for much more. Want to keep that clean sheet if we can. And here's Zirk off again. And it's another great ball. <sighs> Got to do better there. That, that's exactly what I mean. Players often, they just get... It, it's probably me doing something wrong. Um, because it seems to happen all the time. The ball just goes over. So... If you do have any tips, if you're good at scoring headers in this game, let me know. Oh, that was well defended. I think that'll be a corner. Yeah, we did get a touch on it. Just clear this one out. Not the best, like, but Robert Morton, no, he's got it now. And Xerxes clear here. Need some support. Oh, and he just couldn't get the pass through. The support wasn't there. Defender probably did well. It was one on one. Chose the wrong option. Acres of space. They did not deserve a goal there. I don't know what Noy is doing coming all the way out there. I didn't bring him out. I mean, that is very realistic to what he does in real life, so... Not going to complain. Nice ball there from Cosinu. Oh, that's a terrible tackle. Don't want any, f any injuries. We've had enough of them this season. Only... Small injuries, fair enough, like, you know, a week or two out here and there. But I don't want that. We've got a relatively small squad. Kosinu, good save. Mariba, <sighs> strange save. Oh, I'm wide. But 6-0, great result, and we're through to the World Cup. World Club Cup final. I can get my words out. And I still didn't get my words out probably because it's the Club World Cup, not the World Club Cup or whatever I said. But lovely to see Joaquin getting man of the match and fully deserved two very good goals, especially that first one, goal of the day there. As you can see again, great all-round stats, everyone getting a, at least a six who started. And the subs came on and they, they did a decent job, Xerxes especially. Just some great goals there and a very convincing performance to get through to the final. And we're through to the Club World Cup final. Only three days, so not much rest. And as you can see, the games after that come thick and fast too. So join us for that. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you then. Cheers.